You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, delivered a statement on behalf of the Arab Group and the Maldives, which is represented by the Kingdom of Bahrain, in the framework of the participation in the meetings of the Development Committee. On the sidelines of the spring meetings of the Board of Governors of the World Bank Group, the WBG, and the International Monetary Fund, he praised the interest of the WBG in fighting the coronavirus and the bank's rapid response to allocating $14 billion to support countries in precautionary preventative measures, where he noted the importance of international cooperation to address the negative effects of this virus. He pointed out that the WBG has the ability to play an influential role to reduce the social and economic impacts of the coronavirus by designing policies designed to restore the pace of strong and inclusive global growth and urged the World Bank to deepen its analysis of social and economic impacts while providing dedicated guidance for setting spending priorities and appropriate policies during the coming period to ensure sustainable development. The Arab group welcomed the invitation to reduce the debt burden for low-income countries and to continue implementing the multi-dimensional approach followed by the World Bank and the framework of working with debtors and creditors, including helping countries to improve public debt management capabilities, increase debt transparency, and enhance financial sustainability. On the other hand, the Development Committee indicated in its closing statement the importance of implementing the essential measures directed at the level of public finance, monetary policy, and financial markets to support affected individuals and businesses as quickly as possible, as these measures will contribute to the supporting and strengthening of the economic system. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation officially launched the, the There Is Good In Us campaign dedicated to contributing to the national efforts to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19, where His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa has announced his contribution from his personal account and the amount of 1 million Bahraini dinars to the national campaign to combat the coronavirus. The campaign comes in line with the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the endeavors of the government headed by His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the fight against the coronavirus. The Ministry of Information Affairs, represented by Bahrain Television, has dedicated an open day to the campaign in a live broadcast that was pronounced from 2 o'clock in the afternoon and continues until midnight as the campaign gained wide interaction and significant contributions by companies, businessmen, various civil society organizations, merchants, manufacturers and individuals. Bahrain Television hosted during the live broadcast over the past hours a number of officials officials who stress the excellence of the experience of Bahrain in dealing with this pandemic through all the measures that contributed to achieving positive results in addition to decisions that support the national economy. They also stress that contributing to support national efforts to tackle the coronavirus is one of the national duties to combat this virus and to enhance the health and safety of citizens and residents. Now, there is Good Enough's campaign has reached 30 million Bahraini dinars in donations. The campaign is led by His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The campaign is intended to support the Kingdom's efforts in combating the outbreak of coronavirus COVID-19. An Indian radio station targeting non-Arabic-speaking expatriates will be launched in the Kingdom of Bahrain as part of national efforts to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The Supreme Council for Health President, head of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, hailed the cooperation of all parties to speed up the launch of the radio station. He stressed the need to continue the national campaign to enhance public awareness about the official precautionary measures and instructions. He commended the planned radio station, which will reach out to non-Arabic speaking residents to update them on precautionary measures and raise their awareness. Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah extended thanks particularly to the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, and the Ministry of Information Affairs for their efforts to launch their radio station. The Ministry of Health will continue randomly selecting citizens and residents to test for the coronavirus COVID-19 as part of a comprehensive national response to the global spread of the virus. In this regard, the Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, will select 20 individuals from each housing block on a daily basis over a duration of 12 days. Selected individuals will receive an SMS message notifying them of the date and time of their COVID-19 test, which will take place at the drive-through testing facility located at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center and 
should not exceed five minutes. The individuals are required to bring a valid ID for identification purposes. Through this process, the Ministry of Health aims to conduct more than 9,000 COVID-19 tests for randomly selected citizens and residents. The individuals may be accompanied by family members who will also have the option to get tested, provided that the individuals and their accompanying parties all arrive together in the same vehicle. These randomized tests, alongside other precautionary methods such as wearing a face mask in public settings, practicing social distancing, washing hands and using an alcohol-based sanitizer are each designed to curb the spread of the virus. The ministry reminds citizens and residents to adhere to health recommendations that encourage all to stay at home when possible and practice social distancing, particularly during outdoor recreation, at social obligations and at places where goods and services are bought and sold. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism has pledged to intensify its field inspections to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The Assistant Undersecretary for Inspection and Resources, Abdelaziz Al Ashraf, said that the Ministry is carrying out inspections to implement the decisions of the Executive Committee to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus and it will intensify its efforts to cover the weekend and to widen the ge geographical coverage and extend the hours. The Ministry has benefited from the 70 volunteers who have joined the efforts after they were provided with the tools to emphasize social distancing and wearing masks in stores and markets in addition to the other decisions related to closing shops and adherence to food delivery and orders. Work is also underway to monitor the markets to ensure that vegetables and fruits are offered at the normal flow rate and to ensure traders do not refrain from selling them or hiking prices. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities announced in a press conference that the excavation operations that have been conducted in the kingdom during the season of 2019-2020 have resulted from a new number of new discoveries, which have contributed knowledge of the millennia-old history of the island. The operations were carried out in joint efforts with various international archaeological missions, including Japanese, Danish, French and British. The press conference was held virtually on the International Archaeological Day and featured the president of the authority, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who affirmed the importance of exploring and celebrating the history of people. She highlighted the discovery of a Dilmonian garden to be the most significant, which she said is in line with the ancient legends of Dilmun as a lost paradise. Sheikh Hamay added that another important discovery is a structure that has been been found in El Samahid village in Parag, which dates back to the 7th century. She concluded by saying that these discoveries will enrich the study of Bahrain's history and that they further underline the richness and diversity of its culture.